architecture is a me method of, our, of designing that complements our environment. Uh, the, uh, the rules are such that uh, the architect keeps in mind uh, ways of designing and building that are not harmful to the environment and possibly being able if whenever possible to be able to use recycled materials uh, products that are not hazardous uh, products that are natural uh, in uh, in their production uh, whenever you're able to use um, a natural uh, environmental design concepts that is what contributes to green architecture. And by I, what I mean by that is to be able to use natural ventilation, natural daylighting, uh, products made out of recycled materials, um, products that are not harmful to the health of, of its occupants. Um, when that is really, in a nutshell, the definition of green architecture. Uh, green architecture uh, really is something that has taking the profession by storm. Um, you know, really, it's more like the last 10, 20 years that uh, people have become very conscious of their built environment and how they are being exposed to um, products that could potentially be harmful to their health and that can also harm our environment. Um, everything from uh, hazardous materials, pollutants, to also how the design fits in the site it's being built, whether it complements its environment, whether it is a good fit uh, uh, from uh, its size and height, uh, that whether it's going to block um, natural daylighting uh, for other uh, buildings in the area, whether it's gonna be blocking views, uh, whether it's going to affect the um, wind and, uh, and uh, um, ventilation opportunities in uh, the neighborhood. So there's a lot of considerations that are, that are kept, but in a nutshell, uh, its purpose is really to be able to complement, not take away from our environment. And I think uh, that people have really become very, very conscious of this. Uh, today, uh, even the uh, uh, lead uh, has been created, was created a while ago uh, to be able to grade buildings on their level of architecture, excuse me, of green architecture. Um, I think that uh, uh, a lot of us, a lot of architects, even without uh, having uh, the building certified as a lead building, they uh, are designing in a way so that it meets the criteria uh, of a, an environmentally friendly building, but yet not having to produce all the paper required to get it certified. Um, so um, really uh, people are becoming very, very conscious on environmentally sensitive buildings this day and age. What clients should be considering, uh, unfortunately, uh, is the cost. It is much more expensive to design and build an environmentally friendly building. Uh, these buildings um, are being produced uh, uh, with products that are not really mainstream in the profession, uh, in the profession of architecture and construction. And uh, it is important that the client consider that there will be a markup for that. Not only is that the case, but also uh, from different jurisdictions who plan check these uh, designs that uh, may have requirements that are stricter that will cost the client a lot more money. Uh, also, plan check fees uh, will cost more. Uh, ha if, it, if there's a requirement having the building certified, well, there might be other consultants that are required to come in and commission the building, whether on, you know, whereas in standard uh, design uh, uh, methods that may not be required. Uh, it will cost more for a client to be able to get that building certified.